Hi guys, welcome back to my channel for another video. As you can tell, I'm not in my usual surroundings. I'm actually in my master bathroom and that is why there is a weird echo in the video. I wanted to apologize for that, but bear with me. Just the nature of this video, I wanted to be in a bathroom because things might get a little bit messy and I don't want to ruin my carpet. As you can tell from the title of this video, I am going to be doing one of my favorite face masks. This is a mask that I have been using for over two years because I have struggled with acne in the past in my teenager and early adult years. I do have problematic acne prone as well as oily skin. It definitely is a miracle mask and I cannot rave enough about it. The mask I'm talking about is the Health and Beauty Aztec Secret Indian Healing Clay and this is what the container looks like. This little container packs one pound of pure product and it's in a powder form. It ranges from 10 to 15 dollars. I got it off Amazon. It definitely is a deep pore cleansing mask because I have used it for over two years now and it leaves my skin so rejuvenated and so clean and so tight just all sorts of wonderful and it is 100% natural calcium bentonite clay the way I prepare this mask is definitely catered to more oily acne prone skin there's definitely different ways to mix this up to suit your skin type so it definitely is versatile like that now that I've talked a little bit about the product I want to do a a demo of how I mix, prepare, and actually apply the mask. And I have fresh, clean skin. I have absolutely nothing on my skin at the moment. The first thing that you need to prep this mask is something to mix it up with. And the best thing that I have found is to use apple cider vinegar. This is the apple cider vinegar that I have used. This is an organic brand of apple cider vinegar by the brand Phil Singers, but the brand really doesn't matter as long as you have unfiltered raw apple cider cider vinegar it works now this is just a disclaimer that if you have really sensitive skin then you have to dilute the apple cider vinegar so you're not mixing the Aztec Indian clay strictly with the apple cider vinegar first time you're using apple cider vinegar definitely try a little bit on your jaw or on your cheek on the side see how your skin is reacting to it because it is definitely a powerful product and it's definitely something that can burn your skin if your skin is too sensitive so consult somebody if you have to or do a little test patch on your skin first. The next thing you need for this tutorial is a clean makeup brush. A lot of people will apply masks to their fingers. I think that is not sanitary and my experience is best to have a designated makeup brush that you don't obviously use for makeup to apply all your masks and after I'm done with this I always clean it and dry it and put away until my next use and I got this very inexpensive for a dollar at the dollar store. And the next two items that you need is a spoon and a bowl. This is a little kitchen bowl that I have that I only use for my masks and I also have this plastic spoon because of the nature of the product you are not to use any metal object to apply to mix or to stir the product with the reason why you don't want to contact metal to the product is because of its properties so now that you have everything that you need let's start mixing I'm going to be taking my Indian clay opening the box this is what the product looks like as you can tell it's in a powder form. I'm going to be taking my plastic spoon and pretty much filling up my spoon. And I'm going to pour it like so into the bowl. This is definitely enough for my full face and my neck area. Next, I'm going to be taking my apple cider vinegar. I'm going to shake it up. And what you'll notice as soon as the apple cider vinegar starts contacting the Aztec clay, that it will start fizzling up like so. So I'm not sure if the camera is picking it up. And I'm gonna take my brush and start mixing it in. In this case, I put a little bit too much of apple cider vinegar, but don't be scared. You can always add more product in there and mix it up. Now keep mixing until there's no more lumps of product. The best consistency to have for the mask is making sure that it's not too runny. But at the same time, it's not too dry. So definitely play around with it and after a couple of tries, you will get it to your liking. And that pretty much is the perfect consistency. So now that we have the product already in mix, I have a hair tie with me. I'm going to go ahead and tie up my hair so it's out of my face. I'm going to take a little bit of the product, wipe away all of the excess, and start putting it on. 
Now you want to make sure that you are not making any contact with your eye with this because it will burn. On a side note, I know apple cider vinegar on your face can be quite controversial. For me, it's always worked. The downfall of it is that it smells like feet, so it's pretty nasty. Another reason I love applying product or any face products with a brush is that you get a very smooth application and you're not wasting a lot of product. As you can see, I'm going all the way down my neck. I try not to get it in my hair, but it's sometimes hard to avoid the hairline. But don't worry, it will come off. I think I pretty much got everything. Usually the recommended time of leaving the mask on your face depends on your skin. If you have a very sensitive skin, then 5 to 10 minutes max. But if you have more tolerant skin like I do, then 15 to 20 minutes even do it. It's pretty cool when you first try it on and your skin starts pulsing and you can really feel it working. And you can tell physically if it's drying, the mask will start becoming very, very dark on your skin. And whatever area is still wet means that it is not fully dried. So I always recommend to let the mask fully dry before actually start washing it off. I recommend for people to use this at least once a week and there is so much more information on this particular mask so definitely research, do your own homework and see if it's the right one for you and I'm gonna let this dry off and I'll see you guys in about 15 minutes. Guys, the mask is pretty much dry and the reason I'm talking really funny and have no facial expressions is because I cannot move. It is really really hard and I feel it pulsating, which means it's working. I'm gonna go ahead and wash it off. Now it's pretty simple to wash it off. Just make sure that you're using lukewarm water. And as I'm washing the mask off, I'm also going in a circular motion and exfoliating because it does get more grainy as it starts washing off. It takes a couple of minutes to definitely wash off the mask and make sure you're using a clean towel and padding, not scrubbing or rubbing your face dry. Now this is how my face is left after I use it. My skin is really glowing and it feels really clean and I definitely feel some of the pulsating sensation. It feels like it's been given a deep detox cleanse. After this, I do not put any makeup on my skin but the only product I put after on my skin is good old coconut oil and this is my holy grail and the reason I use coconut oil is because it's amazing for your skin and there's so many different healing properties to this. The reason I put on coconut oil and not anything else is because this mask is very powerful and it definitely leaves my skin feeling a little bit dry. So I like to rejuvenate my skin and put some moisture back on it and what better way to moisturize than with coconut oil. And on that note, that concludes today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed my tutorial and I hope you guys learned a thing or two. And if you have used the Aztec clay or you are going to be using the Aztec clay after watching my tutorial, don't forget to leave me a comment down below and telling me how you liked it or what your feedback on it was. And I really appreciate you guys watching this video to the end. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, thumbs up the video, and also in the description box down below, I will be leaving all my social media links. I am an active user of Snapchat and Instagram, so definitely click on over and follow me on my day-to-day -day adventures. I hope you guys are having a blessed day, and I'll talk to you all in my next video. Bye!